Hello! In this video, we will examine acromioclavicular joint osteokinematics. Acromioclavicular joint is formed between the distal end of the clavicle and the acromion process of the scapula. It is a plain synodial joint with 3 degrees of freedom. It is important to note that the 3 degrees of freedom correspond to the three cardinal planes. For the ease of reference, here is a coordinate system passing right through the acromioclavicular joint. Upward and downward rotation occurs through the frontal plane, internal-external rotation occurs in the horizontal plane, and anterior-posterior tilting occurs in the sagittal plane. In order to best visualize upward and downward rotations, follow the inferior angle of the scapula. Here, the scapula moves on a stationary clavicle around the z-axis. You can observe the inferior angle of the scapula moving in an upward and outward directions. Downward rotation is the opposite. It's observed as a downward and inward pivot of the inferior angle. Internal and external rotation are best visualized by following the glenoid fossa. It takes place around the y-axis. In order to achieve internal rotation, the glenoid of the scapula moves anterior and medial on a stationary clavicle. External rotation occurs when the glenoid moves posterior and lateral. And lastly, follow the superior angle of the scapula for the anterior and posterior tilt, which occurs around the x-axis. During anterior tilt, the superior angle of the scapula moves anterior on a stationary clavicle. Posterior tilt occurs when the superior angle moves posterior on a stationary clavicle. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like!